DJI Mavic Air and why I'm selling it. Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> that was Starfish. DJI Mavic Air. Sorry, Starfish. Oops. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. As you might have guessed from the introduction, today we are talking about the DJI Mavic Air and why I'm selling it. Brief story behind this, I bought the Mavic Air just to come to the Philippines right here a couple of weeks ago. I was so happy because it looked like a very light and portable drone. First of all guys, I'm speaking as a travel vlogger, so what I look in a drone is practicality and the speed of putting the drone in the air, so setting up the drone and flight. So main reason why I'm giving this away is because of the signal. I really had bad signals here in the Philippines, here really I can't work with it. Even staying within the regulations of flying a drone, you know, 500 meters away from you, 120 meters high, still it loses signal. Uh, before that, before reaching the limitation. So usually around 300 meters or even below that, I lose the signal and I can't really see what's going on through the camera. GPS is not working, so the drone just wants to come back and uh, literally it's useless. I can't, I can't do anything with this thing. Here I am, tested the drone and I wanna show you a couple of things here. These propellers, they are quite annoying to be honest. So I customized my settings to follow the regulations so it's 500 meters distance maximum and 120 meters high i'm not sure if you see here but battery is 99 percent now and uh, i'm ready to roll here we go i'm at 200 meters away from me and i'm already struggling with the signal 280 meters i've already lost the signal i mean i can actually see the drone from here but there's not signal so I can't really I don't really know what I'm shooting I want to show you how bad this is because seriously uh, uh, you you can't fly it look it's really frustrating I just I just want to sell you right now there's no point like there's no way look all right lost the signal again here guys <laughs> How many meters? Oh, it doesn't even say. I'm gonna show you how the battery works as well. I don't think I've got more than 15 minutes anyway. I'm halfway more or less. 43%, six minutes left. So it means we had probably 15 minutes of flight. Mm, not happy. Just ridiculous. Right guys, battery is off. I flew probably for 12 minutes, I guess. I've got 18% uh, left. So I'm not happy with that thing in, in general, to be honest. It's not reliable. It's not reliable at all. So. The image quality is actually pretty good. The photography is very good as well. I haven't tested the video properly because I'm gonna do it once I'm back home. There are another couple of features I, I don't like, like the propellers, how you fold the propellers. So you, you have a particular order. So you need to close the front one first and then the back one. Because if you do the opposite, so if you close the back one and then the front, that wouldn't match here. And it's just a pain, you need to rotate it and then lift it a bit and just doesn't... <laughs> I don't know, it just, it's just a pain, you know? Because um, you don't want to think about how to fold the propellers. I don't have time for that sometimes, so... Uh, I know it takes a couple of seconds more, but it's just frustrating, if you know what I'm saying. Forgot to mention, guys, also these little things here come off. So if you're in a rush, like, again, as I do sometimes, you need to put them back in, screw them in, and again, it takes a few seconds, and I just don't want to do that, so I... <laughs> I understand they try to make it practical because you can pack it better but it's not practical in terms of speed in setting up the drone so again that's a no for me sorry and another thing when I'm home and I need to take the SD card off the slot that's a pain in the bum so it's a very 
bad position. I've got really thin fingers, but still I struggle to take the SD off every time. It takes me like two minutes just to take that thing off, unless I have a tool, like um, a very thin tool, I can take this thing off. Anyway, just giving up. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. So slot again, it's a pain. I know, the tiny features, I really love the design overall, the, the size and the weight. So you need to compromise it. I really want to hear from you, I want to hear your experience with the drone. It might be just my model that is actually losing the signal. But it's something you experience, please comment below. If you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Mamo Air. I'm a content producer, a video maker, so I create some travel vlogs and also I give filming tips. Consider to subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. I hope to see you in the next video. Check this wonderful landscape of the Philippines. Come to see the Philippines. It's more fun in the Philippines. It's really amazing. God bless you guys and thanks for watching.